Continental is a tire that is focused on dry performance. Uh, the tire works really well in hot races or in slightly colder races, but... Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today it's time to explain how the Continentals are working, so let's get going into the video. In uh, season 86 I uh, selected the Continental tires uh, for the season and uh, I managed to retain that season with uh, a lovely podium in the first race where the weather was hot with my old driver and at race ta at 10 I pushed uh, with my new driver in weather that was suitable for Contis and uh, in the other races I didn't push. Uh, Besides last season, uh, I also used uh, the Continentals in other seasons, uh, in Master, and uh, I used them in Elite when I was there for the last time. And uh, in Master, when I was using my Continentals, I always managed to retain. In season 86, from all managers that are above uh, rookie and uh, amateur, 7% of them picked the Continental tire for the season. But we can't forget that the first uh, race of the season was really hot, uh, which favored the Continentals uh, strongly. And in season 87, the, the weather for the first race didn't uh, favor the Continentals. And only 3% of the managers uh, above amateur picked uh, the Continental. So the Continental tire is a perfect tire to buy your retention with in either Pro or Master, but I feel that for Pro uh, there are also other options that are slightly cheaper, just like uh, the Avon tire. Yeah, they are perfect to be using in Master uh, when you are still training your driver and uh, you feel he isn't really ready just yet. But uh, don't forget that uh, the Continental tire is an expensive tire and it will cost you at least 51 million a season unless the prices uh, change at some point uh, in the future. So that's uh, quite a lot of your season budget is spent on tires uh, whilst the Yokos are only 1.9 million a race. Uh, which saves you uh, about 18 millions on tires, which uh, which can be spent on other parts of the car, and also your race earnings will be slightly lower because uh, you won't be able to get uh, the decent results all the time. Continental is a tire that is focused on dry performance. Uh, the tire works really well in hot races or in slightly colder races, but those tracks uh, should have a high grip level, making it easier to get uh, your Continentals to work uh, in, in those races. When the warm-up distance of your tire is high, it uh, takes longer for them to uh, fully uh, extract all the dry performance that they can. And uh, when qualifying on tracks with a lower grip level, like this example, uh, you will be forced to uh, take a lower qualifying risk. Uh, your tires won't work correctly, so you will be forced to lower your qualifying risk. In this example, I got a lovely uh, qualifying time that was faster than my net uh, practice time, mainly due to the fact that I lowered my qualifying risk to match the conditions for, for the tires at this track. It's time to play the game. Continental tire, either good or bad, so let's get going. With the Continental, it's easier to retain in Pro and Master, but they are expensive and overall your race income will be lower. When the weather conditions are correct for the Continental tire, they have the same dry performance as the Michelini tire. Due to the high tire warm-up, your qualifying results will be worse than expected. Most likely you will need to do some overtaking in the race. Wet weather races are easier, as you don't need to bother anymore about all those wet weather races as Continentals don't do rain. So no point in pushing. The Continental Tire has been approved for Pro and Master for when you were in your first uh, retention season with a driver that might not be fully ready for the group that he is in. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon and check out one of these videos if you haven't and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Goodbye!